welcome back guys now we will start our new topics uh, how you can define settings so settings uh, uh, you have to first of all find the settings uh, group uh, which is available in the project tree this is the project tree and uh, we inserted the device 7 sj85 here and uh, all for example device information hardware and protocols measuring point routing uh, information routing that we have finished uh, communication mapping this is available here so if you want to uh, just uh, uh, if you want to if you can if you want you can change the name of the device also this is coming as a Dixie uh, 5 uh, default device name you can change for example it to 132 v feeder um, like New York one or Washington one as you like um, and if you want to go uh, open the setting you have to click it so further the menu will open okay uh, I have expanded now uh, the setting menu uh, it, the setting menu has further sub menus like device settings uh, time settings power system recording and further it has voltage and current theory phase disconnector and circuit breaker so I will click first device settings in the device settings you have edit mode uh, what is this edit mode uh, for example in this edit mode you have option of defining uh, uh, or showing the value in the Dixie editor either in secondary primary or percentage so in Dixie 5 all the values used to be entered in secondary side which is a normal practice here uh, for example if you have a CT of uh, 800 ratio of 801 and if you want to select uh, that at uh, 800 ampere the relay should trip so if you select secondary then you have to write the pickup value 1 ampere and if you select primary then you have to write the setting value 800 ampere and if you select percentage then you have to select the percentage of 100 so this is how it's working next option available is uh, setting groups uh, you have option available up to 8 setting groups so these setting groups uh, 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 you can select which group is active but uh, of course you have option you can switch the groups uh, uh, active group 1 or, or, or 2 or any other by binary report or by CFC uh, the example could be for example uh, in, in certain areas there are uh, two settings provided for winter and summer uh, timings winter and summer both have different uh, type of loads so you can choose by some certain binary input you can change complete setting group uh, okay now here uh, another option that's very interesting option uh, you, you can select the threshold here you can select binary input channel threshold this is this will set the threshold of all the binary input uh, default threshold of course you have uh, have the uh, flexibility to select individual threshold I have shown already so in this way you can select collectively threshold of the binary input normally on the stations uh, uh, one threshold is used there are no two different voltages available uh, unless there is a special case like um, some input, input is energized through uh, communication uh, DC supply okay next topic is uh, time settings uh, if you select this time settings then you can uh, define two different sources of uh, time settings uh, if for example source 1 is fail then automatically source 2 will be enabled uh, you can select different type of sources here also okay now we will move to the another setting group we will explain the another setting group uh, which is power system uh, which is available in the uh, project tree uh, power system uh, you will you can for example select measurement point three phase single here you can uh, uh, select easily uh, we can see here we can select CT phases under CT phases you can select the CT ratio here uh, for example it is 1001 ratio or 1005 you can select Dixie 5 uh, is giving us a great flexibility you can select uh, uh, just uh, 5 ampere or 1 ampere and you don't need to do any hardware or uh, jumper change because in uh, Dixie 4 devices if you want to change the 
uh, CT ratio secondary side from 1 to 5 or 5 to 1 you have to open the relay and you have to really change the jumper settings and also you you should have to change the MLFE using some patch software so here is very flexible just a single click and you can select uh, your required uh, secondary current. Uh, Dixie 5 have another excellent feature um, once you change the CT ratio uh, Dixie 5 uh, you don't need to change individual settings inside Dixie 5 will change your setting automatically as per new ratio this is uh, one of the excellent feature that I like in Dixie 5 uh, you have also heard about the city supervision so uh, for each module uh, you can find the supervision settings here we have supervision balance I any balance current you have uh, phase supervision of phase sequence it will check the phase and if sequence is wrong uh, certain functions can be configured and there's another function is the sum function this this is a uh, excellent function here I will uh, show you uh, a new function is added in DC5 which was not in DC4 it is supervision of ADC sum uh, supervision of analog to digital converters so each binary analog uh, input has two converters and these converters are cross-checking each other outputs so it should be same ideally uh, also uh, what it is doing is it is checking the sum of three currents uh, with the neutral current in the relay or zero sequence current in the relay so if the if it finds some differences uh, if both sums are not same then it is immediately blocking uh, the production function which are fed through this current element so this will help uh, to prevent the mall operation of the relay okay now we will move to our next function for recording just click here then you can see the for recording different function how the for record should operate with pickup with trip and different parameters are shown here normally this is uh, this uh, this is kept as as uh, as default but uh, one point is really important the sampling frequency so you you have option of sampling frequency from 1 to uh, 8 uh, kilohertz device can store up to 120 fault records a, a new fault record will come it will delete the late, uh, the latest uh, the oldest fault record actually uh, the uh, for fault record also have a duration so for example it could be 1200 uh, seconds if you select a fault record sampling of 1 kilohertz if you select the high sampling rate the duration will uh, come down but the quality will will improve here you can see if you select three phase uh, voltage current three phase it has a built-in function that can operate because this element will be feeding these these production functions so I select this 50 uh, work current function and here you can easily define certain settings of the of, of this function uh, one more thing I want to add here that number of stages are shown are not uh, the, the fixed uh, you just have to click for example here add new and then you can select uh, increase the number of stages in the same way if if there are some setting groups the uh, setting stages available that you don't require you can just simply right click and delete these setting groups uh, one another excellent feature really I love this feature of Rixie 5 is just if you click the graphic icon here the dynamic uh, graph will be shown on the uh, right side here in the window this function is uh, also available in distance relay, differential relay. So I really love this software. This is excellent. You can see the graphs here, and Dixie 5 is providing uh, way too much flexibility and ease of operation. That's a great software. Mm -hmm.